Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would start today off by letting you guys see Flash here because I know you guys have missed him so much. Say hello. Say hi, friend. He is so sweet. He is missing Kennedy so bad. And when she FaceTimes us and he hears her voice, his ears will just perk up. It's the cutest thing. I love you. I love you so much. You're so good. He has calmed down a lot, I will say that. He's calmed down a lot since Kennedy left. So I don't know if she was an instigator or if he's just calmed down because he's missing her. So I don't know. But I'm gonna scratch his belly for a little bit and then I'm gonna go to my mom's and work on Kaylin's picture collage because I think if I do that here, he will be a little terror. He will have pictures drug everywhere. So I think I'm gonna go to my mom's and do that. You are rotten. You are rotten. You are rotten. Are you alive? Where's Kennedy? Huh? Where's Kennedy? Okay, now his jaws are gonna hang. Ah! Okay. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. Our friends have missed you. Our friends have missed you so, so much. He was outside earlier, and when he came back in, he brought a pair of goggles. Yeah. It's just the crap that's laying around my floor, you know. Random things. Just a bunch of random things you drag in here, right? As long as it's not a snake. You drag a snake in here, and you're going to be finding somewhere else to live. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. Yeah. Hey. What? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Okay. Getting his goggles. Where are you going? Our baby gate broke, so we have a chair there, so he can't get into the kitchen. We redid our cabinets, as you guys know, so I don't want him up there scratching those, jumping up there. So that's why that chair is there. Kennedy got a book delivered. She had bought a book for class, and that got delivered, so she's going to have to come get that. Well, buddy, you've tore it up. Something else for me to pick up. Can I have those goggles? Can I have those goggles? Can I have them? Can I have those goggles? Be a good boy. Come here, bring them to me. I'll lay down, he'll come to me. I don't know why, but he likes it when you lay on the floor. Flash, flashy. That's bad. Give me the goggles. You'll chew that up, and that plastic will hurt your belly. Can I have them? Ugh. Ha 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 ha. Give them to me. Give me the goggles. <sighs> Say, I'm bad. Say, I'm a bad, bad puppy sometimes. Right? Don't bite me. Be nice. Good boy. It's a good boy. You're just thinking about the next thing you can get into, aren't you? I know you. I got these two donkey pictures. I'm going to hang those above my desk, I think. But I love donkeys. When I was little, my dad would sing me, I call it the donkey song, but I think like if you look it up, it's called Electrified Donkey. And it's about a donkey that backs into an electric fence. But my dad would always play his guitar and sing that to me when I was a little girl. So when I found these donkey pictures, yeah, they came home with me. It's just special to me. I left my wallet in Alden's car, so I am driving without a license today and I'm just using my spare key. So yeah, living on the edge. We got the crib. This is actually upside down. We got the crib and the changing table and the little dresser. So we got that in and 
can't wait to do that put that together and do this nursery we've got everything we just need to get the flooring and the paint and then we're going to be good to go but there's a shot of it upside down the back is kind of ship lapped looking it's white so that's going to be so cute i promise a garage clean out is coming soon so made it to my mama's gonna start working on this family tree If you guys have been around for a little bit, you know that I did one of these on my aunt's wall. Hers was a little bit bigger and it was just like a full tree and it was centered in her wall. So this one went a lot quicker than that one did just because I knew what I was doing at this point. I didn't have to stop, read directions, all that stuff. You guys know I hate reading directions. If you can hear that in the background, Flash is obviously thirsty. But I wanted to get this tree, put it up for my mom, get that done. I learned from doing my aunts, when you go to stick that piece on the wall, pull your paper out so you don't get any paper under it because we did that with my aunts and it took us forever just to cut that out like with a box cutter. So make sure you pull your paper out. Don't get any of that underneath or you're going to have another project that's pretty time consuming. But my mom went to the Dollar Tree and I actually got 12 five by seven frames. So you'll see in a few minutes that we hang those and that looks so much better. Please, if you order this, get your own frames. The frames that come with it are terrible. everything off up top because I was done with all that I actually just tore off around where the words were that way I only had that paper I didn't have all the other paper hanging around me and I actually pulled this off the wall and moved it up a little bit you couldn't really see for the lamp and the chair and there was just an empty space there so I just pulled that up I used a level to get these words straight and yeah that was it also when you go to peel the brown paper off of the black decal it's almost like that paper is sealed on it it's really hard just to get it loose with your fingernail so it tells you to get like a push pin and actually get up under that paper and once the air hits it it's like it loosens it up and then you can peel it off a little easier but I think for $29 you can't beat this it's super cute it's just a good way to display pictures with a little bit of art there it kind of makes the space look a little more upgraded than just a bunch of picture frames on the wall
faces all at once Wish that what we said would come undone Feels like our minds have been turned off Haven't seen each other for so long I know, I know, I know this is in us Maybe pull me closer, let's fall in love Oh, I can feel my body I wanted to pick up all this paper for them. They've got these laminate floors, and if you hit a piece of paper or dryer sheet, anything like that, it's super slick. So I didn't want them falling, so I went ahead and picked up all that scrap. My mom and Kaylin had just got home. Mom had an eye doctor appointment. Then she stopped and got Kaylin after school. So they had just gotten in, and my mom had these frames. And even though we don't have pictures in them yet, she asked me if I'd go ahead and hang them, I guess, just so she could see what it was going to look like. So once she gets her pictures together, we're going to take these frames down, put the picture and hang on back up but you kind of get the idea anyway with the frames up what it's going to look like when I was picking that paper up I noticed that I did not paint the baseboard right there so I'm gonna have to go back and paint that white baseboard and I noticed she had a water bottle or two up under Kaylin's chair so and it was a little dusty we've done so many projects all this furniture just needs to be pulled out swept and mopped and put back and I'll help her do that. But this is what the tree looks like. I think it turned out super cute. She is loving it. So if she's happy, everybody's happy. just a poster frame that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was $19.99, 50% off, so I paid $9.99 for this frame. So the edges come off. That's how you take the frame apart, and it does have a hook on the back to hang that on the wall. So Kaylin had gave me a bunch of her pictures that she wanted in this collage, and I will say she had a big, thick stack, and I used probably two-thirds of them. So what you do is you just put all your big pictures in the background, and then you cut out your little pictures just in whatever shape you want to, however you want to, and you add those just to fill up the empty spaces like of the background of the bigger pictures. So that's what I was doing here. 
She has holes all over her wall from where she pins these up and I wanted to create something for her so she didn't have pictures hanging all over the wall and this is the best way I know to do it. I have a friend and her mom had a whole wall done like this and had a big piece of plexiglass up over that and I loved that. You could stand there for hours literally and look at all of her pictures. It was the coolest thing but I just do it in frames. I have one actually of all my kids when they were younger and I think it was even actually before Allison was born but it's a lot bigger than this and it has tons of pictures in it and I could still sit and look at that all day long just look at all the different pictures so it's a pretty neat way to display a bunch of pictures in a smaller space. We are picture people if you can't tell this video is just all about pictures but it is a good way to have pictures out and just something different. It's pretty neat. Almost everybody that came in my house or comes in my mom's house, when they see that, they'll stand there and look forever. So it is pretty cool. what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling alone I'm going to go ahead and read my devotional to you guys and I've noticed that in this devotional it's a little repetitive sometimes there will be the same one toward the end as there was in the beginning so I've kind of been going through them and reading ones that I haven't read so today's is accept your gift and if you want to read that it's first Timothy 4 14 through 15. Paul wrote to Timothy encouraging him to use his gift of teaching of what profit is it to simply possess gifts if we forego using them? God has invested a unique set of traits in each of us to reflect himself and to play a part in his plan. God will teach us how to use our gifts and offer us opportunities to put them to use if we trust his leading and guiding. It is important that we refrain from becoming jealous of someone else's gifts and praise God for the gifts that he has given us learning to use them for his glory. How can you learn to use your gifts wisely? I've learned through just doing YouTube alone, if you ask God to help you do what he has planned for your life, it'll take you to some pretty amazing places. I would have never dreamed I'd be here using what little bit of gift I have to help others. Speaking of being jealous of other people's gifts, a pretty painful lesson that Kennedy learned at a young age is that not everybody's clapping for you. Not everybody is in your corner. There are a lot of people that are jealous. We experienced a lot of jealousy through Kennedy playing softball and you would think being part of a team, you would be happy that the other one is doing well. It only benefits you as a team, but that's not always the case. And with asking God to remove any jealousy from Kennedy's life, it ended up Kennedy quitting her high school softball team, being told a college would never look at her if she didn't play high school ball. And it seemed like it was just tragic. I was like, Lord, why would you turn it this way when I just ask you to remove jealousy from her day-to-day -day life, just that others could be happy for her, that she's doing so well, and all of this. And sometimes you got to be careful what you ask God for, because he'll give it to you, but he'll give it to you in a way that you're not expecting. But he always has a bigger plan. Through that, Kennedy is at ETSU playing softball division one while all of the jealousy is over for the rest of them. Kennedy's career is just beginning again. So super exciting. She plays her first game tomorrow. I cannot wait. Yeah, but thank you so much for being here. Remember, I love you guys. Remember, Jesus loves you guys no matter what. And use your gifts. Whatever gift God's given you, use that. He didn't give it to you for no reason. He didn't give it to you just to let it sit around. Pick it up and use it. But I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.
wandering and fading I know there's something more than this I think I am ready for doing some changing Oh God, there's something more